I don't know why I think this, but this is such a weird fight. What is up guys, this is Godzilla Suplex and welcome to today's episode of UFC Zilla where I'll be going over the matchup between Alexander Volkov and Alistair Overeem. But before I do that, please hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I make a video. So guys, let's get into this. Because we have one of the weirdest matchups I think I've ever seen in UFC history, Volk, uh, Alexander Volkov versus Alistair Overeem. And this is a very weird matchup because, you know, you have one really skinny, really well-rounded fire. And then you have this, you know, just muscle-bound wrestler slash kickboxer. I mean, he he's a true legend of the uh, kickboxing sport, Alistair Overeem. And this is going to be a hard one to predict because it really all comes down to what each one of them do in the fight rather than their skill sets coming into the fight but first now let's get to the fire goals what does Alexander Volkov need to do to win this fight and it's very simple keep I mean absolutely keep Alistair on the outside use that jab chop up his head we know it's still in space because Francis and got him knocked it out of there a while ago so his head is not what it used to be so just chop up the head get him disoriented and really more importantly protect the body that is what Alistair is going to go for to try and get him on the ground and once he gets him on the ground it's going to be a tough time for him to get back to his feet because he's going to constantly pressure and constantly attack and use his superior weight to really beat up on a uh, Volkov so Volkov needs to keep the distance mix it up with some kicks and chop down try to chomp down his meaty legs and really try to get him in a position where he's standing still and taking a lot of long range shots but what is the goal for Alistair Overeem it's very simple get in the clinch get on the inside take Volkov's you know long range shots be him to the inside and start kneeing him in the stomach tear up his insides until he is forced to uh, accept the takedown and to just mess up his face and go back and forth until you knock him out because once you get him in the corner and really tired after maybe two takedowns and two rounds late in the fight it's going to be very tough for Volca to respond because you've already taken his range out of it and you can just stand there and throw power shots at him without little resistance so now as we got to the fire goals out of the way where are some of the possible scenarios in this fight and first we want to address that can anybody be knocked down the first round of this fight because the certain this certain type of fight's weird because really multiple game plans can work for each person because okay let's just say uh, Alistair Overeem comes out really aggressive really swinging Volkov could counter to kick to the head or two three good long straights and have Overeem out because we know his chin is not what he used to be after the France and Gano shook him up so we, he really has to be careful not to get to the head because that's the only thing really Volker can respond with other than some chops to the leg and to the uh, body, but not too much because then uh, Alistair could counter. So footwork's going to be a big part of this matchup. And I think they're going to be really feeling them out in the first round, especially Volker. Volker's going to be the counter puncher in this situation so he can like kind of re Alistair's power. But Alistair's going to be trying to get in the inside and see what he can do and see how he can get in the inside and, and force Volkip to throw something. So I highly doubt a knockout in the first round unless just uh, Alistair just comes at him and just throws down and hits him, which can very well happen. But I think really when the fight is going to start is about that third round. You know, the desperation is going to be out there to win the fight. They're going to be relatively quiet in the first couple of rounds. And this is where Alistair Overeem is going to try to get his game plan in, which is to try to take him down, get beat up his body, tire him out, and make him stand still in the court. Whereas Volkov's strategy is to uh, keep kicking him, keep getting at a distance, and keep frustrating him to the point where he opens up for a very strong punch. He's able to hurt him, and then he's able to retroactively attack the body and legs, confusing him and setting back his plans for a round and hopefully chopping him up enough for a knockout with his weak head. So I want to go to the championship rounds because these are very important in this kind of fight. You know, there's going to be a lot of long-term and short-term strategies to see what's happening. And the goal in that round, because by this time, we can already see what's going to happen. Volker's going to take some shots to the body. 
you know um um what's his name um alistair is gonna be taking shots to the head so if the fight goes that long we know that head shots will be taken and at least one takedown has happened in the fight so we have to think of what their condition is in this possible scenario and Alistair's, what is Alistair looking for? He's looking for another takedown to win the round to try and win by a decision or piece him up for the fifth round. And Volkov is trying to stay at a distance and kick him and really start to send his plan in motion of keep piecing him in the head until he can get that knockout or catch him when he's trying to come in for a takedown and catch him in the head with a, sub, with a submission, excuse me. So in that fifth round, it's highly likely that Volkov could easily, because Volkov has very good hands, so he could piece him up, kick him in the body real hard. Because that's what a lot of people don't expect. Volkov can kick very hard with his knees. So he's not, nobody to sleep on. And, you know, since he's going to be really combination heavy probably in this fight, mixing up the hands to try to hit uh, Alistair in the head. But Alistair can do the same thing, only with more power because of his such conditioning. So it's going to be really tough if it goes to decision. You know, it's probably going to be a split decision if it goes to the decision because that means that these guys will have win at it. And really, who do I think is going to win? I think it's going to go to Alistair just because he has the more more avenues to win. Like, let's think about this. Okay, Volkov's biggest thing is his jab and kicks. Okay, once you get around that, he doesn't have much to defend with except his knees and maybe some of his clinch game, right? But if you're going against Alistair, he can attack you with the knees. He can press you against the cage. He has great strength, great conditioning. Once he gets you on the ground, he can put you in submission. Or he can just beat up on you, which I really think is going to happen, and tie you out. Once Volkov's stamina is gone, there's nothing he can do. He can't throw in any power. He can't throw in any kicks. He can't really hit a good submission. He is forced to step back to the cage and try to counter shoot while uh alistair is coming on but what alistair could do he could back him up and just start throwing haymakers with little repercussions so he could get him back up hit him with haymakers hit him to the stomach again really have him leaning over and just keep throwing power shots until he knocks him out or he can go for the more safer thing is is to take him down each round forcibly which is very hard i mind you that's why he really needs to hit the body press him up against the cage and really take his legs from up under him because Volkov's not gonna be an easy person to take down we know that with Derek lewis he could Derek lewis couldn't take him down even when he did he got right back up so he has good balance so the thing is to get him wobbly get him to the ground and just keep beating up on him by the time he gets to the feet he will not have good range mobility and really take the legs from up up under him so he can really can't do anything but guys if you like this video please hit that like button also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time i make a video who do you want to see win this fight and if they do who would you want to see them fight next i know they're kind of in that middle state where they can't really fight for the title but they can still get maybe a good uh um top five contender maybe so who would y'all want to see five they win this match and how do you think this fight is going to go decision submission or knockout this has been the best go jira in gaming and ufc news sign off guys y'all have a wonderful day